All right, guys, in this video, you're going to see a breakdown of some of the dots that I worked in bite work here a couple of days ago. And I'm going to be explaining the use of this particular tool. This is a whip and it is very commonly used in protection training. A lot of times it's used specifically for the purpose of IGP or IPO training. Uh, normally in the other sports like PSA, a manual ring, French ring, you typically don't see the use of this. You're typically going to see clatter sticks. I made a video on clatter sticks uh, at some point ago. But this particular tool is definitely of value. And the reason why this is effective is as it brushes the dog, okay, because we could use it in a way that it brushes the dog, which means it'll, um, it won't hurt the dog. If you look at this, this is a string attached to a, to a leather. And the way it works is when you whip the dog with it, uh, you're not really whipping the dog with a thick piece of leather. You're not uh, slashing the skin or anything like that. You're simply creating some agitation. You're gonna see in the video as I do this, it's just pissing the dog off on and on and on. So we do this typically to agitate the dog or when the dog is already in a little bit of aggression mode or in a little bit of an agitation mode, all it does is it adds fuel to that fire. So it can be used this way. So to agitate the dog, um, it could also be a little bit, a little bit more, um, a little bit more intense. So it, it gets a little bit of a sting, right? Um, it could also be used to make a little bit of noise. As we use it to make a little bit of noise, now it adds to the agitation. Now you have sound, you have this loud pop. On top of that, you have the brushing going on on the dog. Uh, all of this adds fuel to that fire. It makes the dog nice and pissed off. So in the video that you're gonna see here, the reason I'm using it is I'm presenting the dog with a uh, picture that the dog is going to see on the trial, which is the courage test for the level one in PSA. So the PSA one courage test involves a helper running at the dog. This is on the trial, running at the dog full speed. And the helper has a bag, something, some sort of article on the left hand. So as the decoy is running at the dog, the decoy then tosses that article uh, across the dog. So not at the dog, but across the dog, okay? So what happens is if the dog doesn't see that picture, a couple of things could happen. One thing that could happen is the dog sees the item flying at him and it makes the dog second guess himself. The other thing that could happen, and I've seen this happen too in training and in trials, where the decoy tosses the item, the dog suddenly gets distracted by the item and now it takes the focus from the decoy to the item flying across the dog's view. So we don't want that. So in training, we have this uh, in a very controlled scenario where the dog is going to win. So what I do here is, the way I present it with my club dogs is I have the, the article, which is usually a bag or a harness bunch stop. I'm not gonna use something of high value, uh, like a, a, a sleeve or a, or a toy. I'm gonna use something that is very relatively low value. It's just a distraction. What I do is, as I'm agitating the dog, as I'm teasing the dog and I'm engaging the dog in prey drive, what I'll do is I'll grab the whip and I'll start agitating the dog a little bit more. So I'll brush the dog in the legs, the handler is holding onto the dog or the dog is posted on a tree. So as this is happening, I grab the item, I toss it. It's very common for the dogs to do this, to follow the item because they're engaged in prey drive. Suddenly quick movement goes across them. It's not uncommon for them to follow it. So what I do is as I toss the item, I'm ready to agitate the dog. So as the dog does this, I'm already brushing the dog's legs. If I need to put in a little bit of a sting there, I will. Um, again, this ends up really uh, agitating the dog in my direction, right? This makes it much more personal. So we're doing this back and forth. Uh, that's what you're going to see uh, on the video. So I wanted to explain it so there's a little bit of context. This whip, uh, something that you can buy at most, um, you know, most places that sell agitation gear for protection training. This particular one is made by Eurojo. 
It's a short stick um, and it has a, a pretty decent whip. Now it, it doesn't have a whole lot of pop to it. Um, now I could make it have more pop to it by simply replacing the string. If I would replace this with a little bit of a thicker st string, this would definitely make a louder pop. But that's one of the advantages of using a whip in protection training. All right guys, to watch the rest of the training session with this dog using the whip and the introduction of the level one courage test and this puppy's very first bite work session, make sure you go to dogtrainingismypassion.com. On this website, you're going to see the tab, virtual training plus book training and the Malinois course on there. This website tells you a little bit about what we offer, the services we do but go to virtual training for the monthly membership. This will give you access to exclusive content. It'll first take you to this funnel. It's a page where you're going to have the ability to sign up for that course. So make sure you check it out.